This is the third video follow-up on this bobbin winding and why it didn't work in our crystal radio. And this is a scaled down version of this. And the difference between these two coils, one of them is obviously the wire size. So this one is 0.227 millimeters or 31 AWG. And this one is 0.81 millimeters or uh, what is that? 20. Uh, American wire gauge. Yes. So wire size is one issue. Winding type. This one has a scatter type winding and this one is a straight wound. And then finally, obviously, the core diameter is different. This is a uh, one and a half inch water pipe and this is an eight millimeter sewing bobbin. So um, yeah, this did not work well. It barely gave me a whisper in a crystal set. Uh, it would work fine in a powered set, but not so much in the crystal. And the question is why? What about this is not making it work right? So uh, the first, the first uh, video we ran, I took a uh, core that was exactly the same size. It's cut from the same pipe, in fact. So I took a core and I did it the, exactly the same way as this one, the, uh, the antenna. So it goes antenna, ground, got it the wrong way around, antenna, ground, earphone, and then the capacitor. And again, here we have antenna, ground, one side of the earphone, and then the other side, of the, uh, one side of the capacitor, rather. And that worked just fine, so that was not the issue. The other experiment we ran, video two, had this one. And let me get this so you can see what's going on here. Yeah, it's not as clear because I didn't get the tabs where they should be, but okay. So we have on this side, get it back around here so it's equal, uh, same size core, so that's being held standard. Same size wire as the other one that worked, the straight wound worked, so we know it's not the wire size. So this test was to determine if the straight wound versus the scatter wound was the issue in our bobbin. And this one worked plus or minus the same as the straight wound. So we eliminated wire size. We eliminated the scattered versus the straight uh, windings. And finally, the only thing left to test is the core diameter. So obviously the core diameter on this one is much bigger than this. So the last test was something I was dreading doing because as you can see right here, this is 864 windings if I remember right. It's uh, 19 point some meters of uh, wire and yes wrapped by hand. It was uh, very very fun but again it's just another ratioed version of this so this is our standard and here is the antenna part and then the next connection is the ground. The next part here is the earphone circuit and then this is the part that is capacitively tuned. So that's one side of our capacitor. That's one side of our earphone. And again, the, the, the other side of those are the ground right here. So, yeah, what we need to do is we need to go over and hook this up to the antenna and to the uh, radio uh, workbench and see if the smaller core is the issue. And uh, yeah, if this works, I don't know where we're going to go. We're going to have another video. But if it doesn't work, and I strongly suspect that this is going to be the problem, yeah, if it doesn't work, then we know that small core is bad for crystal radio. Okay? Well, enough talk. Let's go hook it up and see what it'll do. Well, here we are all hooked up. This is the ground. We've got three grounds back here. One of them is capacitor ground. One of them is coil ground. And the other is the earphone ground. Uh, moving on around here, we have the antenna connection and it comes over here. So that is our first connection right there. The next connection is our ground, which is one of these wires back here. This green wire is the one side of the uh, earphone circuit. And this red one is the capacitor. So it's one side of the capacitor and then here's the ground on that. So that's our, it's very typical setup if you've seen my other videos. Uh, back here is our oscilloscope and it's grounded there and then it's connected to the diode right there. 
So uh, that's it. Uh, it's time now to tune through it and see what this circuit is going to do for us. You'll notice that it's pretty much flatlined. I normally am getting static right about now. And it's, wow, it's just like nothing, 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 quiet. There is the station. It's about one kilometer from my house. And yeah, that's all I'm getting. Keep going, keep going. And nothing but more static. So yeah, I'm getting one station. And frankly, I can get one station with just a diode, an earphone, antenna, and a ground circuit. So winding this, taking the time to wind this massive coil, uh, time and aggravation uh, is not worth it. But the point of this experiment was to determine if the core diameter was the issue in our bobbin coil, and it certainly appears that that is it. So uh, moral of the story is if you are doing crystal radio coils, bigger is better. And when you start getting this small, it's just not going to work. It would work fine in a powered circuit, you know, where you got transistors and amplifying the signal. But as far as the crystal radio goes, yeah, there's, it, it's just too inefficient to work. Okay, well, that was it. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your crystal radio experimentation.